Hi, I'm Janet Nunn, and today we are going to paint this wonderful aspen tree. <music> Using note cards, Dr. P.H. Martin's paints, this is our wonderful brush that we're going to use, wax paper, and we're going to use a little bit of a credit card. Uh, it is so easy to do. Um, so, the other thing that you'll need is a Sharpie and a straight edge. And I just used a piece of a mat board. It works just fine to make this wonderful border that we're gonna do. And I only used three colors, a light, medium, and dark. The light was the gamboge, the medium was the brilliant cad red, and the dark right here was the sepia. With that, you're gonna need a mister. This is a water mister that I, uh, used to have olive oil in it. It does not have olive oil. It just has water and it is one-stop shopping. You just press your finger once and it makes all these colors come together. It's just so much fun. This is just a fun lesson and the reason why it's so neat is once you try it with these colors, you can change the seasons. You can make them um, more of a green shade and make them spring. You can take a lot of the colors and use more reds, less golds, and you will have a whole different painting. Now that you have all your tools to paint this, let's get started. This is an easy scene. All you need is you've got your tape on your note card. And one thing I forgot to tell everybody, I put a little X on my note card so I know where the spine is, so I know which way it's gonna open. Believe it or not, it is very helpful to do. I need a brush. This is one of my brushes I'm gonna use, is this wax paper. And you just barely crumple it up, and there's my brush. So I have my paper, I have my brush. I'm also gonna be using a credit card as another brush. I have a mister and now my paint. Um, I have this beautiful sepia, just gorgeous. Oops, it looks like I got a little sepia on there. Then um, these, this particular scene is going to be some aspen trees. And these aspen trees are colorful with gamboge, Hansa Deep Yellow, and Brilliant Cad Red. Might add another color, we'll see how they turn out. We've got some sepia on there. So you don't need very much, just a little drop here and there, and that's it, that's all you need. So I have my paint ready, I have my water ready, I have my brush, here we go. So I said, you know, don't crumple it up too much. So I dip and do. So these are wonderful aspen trees. And I'm keeping them up in the top part there. I'm gonna add some medium colors. So I've got my lights, my mediums. Now let's add just a little bit of this dark. Oh yeah, that, look at that. Isn't that great? Now I'm just gonna activate it with this water. I'm just, if you notice, I'm just, I, I spray, then I stop and let it work. I spray, I stop. I spray, I stop, and I let it spread all of the color all over, which is good. Now, this particular card, I'm gonna dip into the sepia, and it's gonna make the bottom of my trees. So just a little spread right in there, and I can come all the way to the top. Let's see if I can get that in there. And then here's another. Look at those trees. They are so easy with a card. You just let all the card do the work for you. And before you know it, you have just these gorgeous little trees. They need a couple little branches. Just take the edge. I just love the way that just comes to life. Look at that. And there you go. Is that cool? I'm gonna let it dry and I'll show you how to finish it off. You can let this air dry, but I am going to use a hair dryer because 
you guys don't want to wait forever and watch paint dry, even though it's very exciting to watch paint dry. But I'm going to use the hairdryer. It's dried. I love the way the paint mixed together here with the sepia. It's gorgeous. And you can use different colors. I just chose a few. Uh, just choose light, medium, and darks. It's wonderful. Then when you take this tape off, you have a great border, but we're gonna finish it a little differently on this one. This one, we have a little bit more of a different finish. I'm gonna take my Sharpie and a, just a straight edge, and I want to frame more of what I just did in the painting just to show it off. And if I stop and start as I go around the tree and create this border, I can frame it in. And that's one thing about watercolor is we do a lot of framing and the framing shows everybody what you want them to see. And in this particular piece, I want them to see the beautiful colors that are in this particular painting. So see that line? It's just gorgeous what it does. But it, it takes you from the trees here and brings you into the uh, background or whatever, but it shows off the entire painting with just three lines. Three lines. Three lines and a signature. And voila. three colors, a light, medium, and dark. The light was the gamboge, the medium was the brilliant cad red, and the dark right here was the sepia. More lessons, more lessons. I have three, how do you paint that books? One, two, three. There's 40 lessons in each one. So you can be very, very busy. In book three, the cool part about book three, I have, whoops, the cactus. And you can follow along and paint, but you can also use the QR code and watch me on YouTube. Now, if you really want to take your painting skills and take them on an adventure, with the Foothills Art Center, we have done Italy three times. And what an exciting adventure. Not only do you get to see these beautiful sights, but you get to see them. You sit, you paint, you watch people go by, you have wonderful lunches in cafes. You get to be a part of the scenery instead of just going from one place to the next place to the next. You see things, you smell them, and you document them on paper. It is a wonderful way to take your painting skills to another level. So go to the Foothills Art Center and you will be able to find some of the new trips we're coming on and some of the trips that we've been on. Thank you, I'm Janet Nunn. Catch me again and we will be doing a lot more paintings and happy painting.